Just see, until I started seeing I could let my experience be as it is. So I let myself feel however I feel, think however I'm thinking. Just let all data streams, thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences simply be as they are. Until I started doing that, I was living a limited life. A life limited by conventional ideas of how it is to be, mainly be happy. You know that one? <laughs> happy! <laughs> Isn't that a big, like, so big at the moment? Must be happy. Happy, 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 happy! <laughs> And then you feel sad. <laughs> and then, and then it's like, oh no, oh no, oh, where did the happy go? I've got to get that happy back. Where's it gone? It's around here somewhere. There's like all those like people over there telling me I've got to be happy. Um, if I do these things, I will be happy. I've got to have that feeling, that particular data stream, and then I've got to label it happy. Okay, then I'll be able to relax. All will be well. When we meet the Balance You training, we learn another way. We learn an effortless way, an easeful, a powerful, potent way to live. We learn that we can let everything about ourselves simply be as it is. Happy, anguished, everything in between. Who cares? Let it be as it is. Get into the slipstream of the benefit of all. Ride that wave, I love that, Silver Surfer. The biggest wave of the universe. And we're already on it. So we just relax as it and see that we are so skillful and so powerful and so unavoidably in complete dedication to the benefit of all. And um, I just saw at some point, it was like me getting out of the way of myself. Like, just like was expressed, we we can just give up the struggle. Until we give up the struggle, the struggle continues. Until we just choose to relax with things as they arise, we continue to torture ourselves. You know, like wanting our thoughts and emotions and situations to be different and then like trying to implement strategies to change them. In each short moment when we just let ourselves feel however we feel, we release and open into the instinctive benefit of all, inherent benefit of all. We harness the great power that we have available to us in each moment in the great flow of data streams as it is, in open intelligence as it is. Data streams and open intelligence are inseparable, like the air and the breeze, like the colour blue and the sky. Can't take them out of each other, are one thing. So we just relax, just relax and notice open intelligence, acknowledge it, bow to it, honour it completely, live as it, rather than just pretending that we are something else, that we're not connected, that we're not pervaded by beneficial potency when we just are. Like just right now, if we just stop thinking for a moment, we can recognise bright, open alertness, an intelligence that's always on. Can't switch it off, can't dampen it down at no point. Isn't that amazing? so open, so unavoidably open, so we relish it, savour it, empower ourselves with it rather than just denying ourselves that power. And that's what the Four Mainstays are here for. They support us in that in an effortless way. We can just relax with the Four Mainstays. We can rely on, we can choose to allow short moments of open intelligence, apply them throughout our day, simply let everything be as it is, we can do it right now. Simple. And then we just choose to do that whenever we naturally remember. And as subtle as it may seem at some points or at first, it just grows. The obviousness of open intelligence grows in our own experience. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times becomes continuous. Open intelligence synonymous with beneficial potency. Beneficial potency grows in our own experience. We start to see that that is all that we are, all that is at play. We grow in confidence in it, that we can use this. We can 
we can dedicate and devote ourselves to that beneficial potency in each moment. Not needing it to look a certain way, but just having confidence in our spontaneous benefit. And really just then, like I just see for myself with the Four Mainstays, we have short moments, we have the trainings, which we can all participate in here. They just so skillfully open us up to the reality of open intelligence benefit. We come together as a community of people, community of human beings. We share our experience. And in sharing our experience, in sharing our experience of relying on open intelligence, we directly empower each other. And anybody who's in trainings, don't you see that? Isn't that amazing? We just enter into a training. And simply by sitting in chairs in rows and reading a text together, you, I mean, these incredible texts that evoke and elicit beneficial potency, open intelligence, each training contributing so profoundly to us. And uh, simply by remaining open, open. And then we have a trainer. And the relationship with the trainer really is, I just see for myself, a place where I have grown in confidence to just look clearly, like to no longer be internally oppressed by my data streams, to look clearly, to see that I have the power to look clearly at myself, to see what is going on, what is at play, and then have the power to let it be as it is, and no longer be a victim to it. And just by opening up in this relationship, it just empowers me to open up in a loving relationship with all. And it's beautiful to feel that burning desire to use the relationship with the trainer totally. Like, go for it. Just go for it. And uh, I've seen for myself, going for all I'm ever met with is greater love, greater expansion, greater power. It's like, it's, it's the very fundament, it's like an, a, um, the, what would be the word? <laughs> the archetypal the relationship we can have with open intelligence, just such an openness there and only benefit being shot, re reflected back and empowered in me and then it just is unavoidable that gets empowered in others. We learn so much from this relationship and um, it was really like a brand new type of relationship for me and I, so it's so natural to, to feel like we find our way with it but that's perfect and it's, you know, each each of us, we're different in our constellation of data and how our life is, but our trainer is just there to customize the four mainstays for us to ensure that the support is fully available. And, um, and then we have the community of people, people all over the world making this choice to rely on open intelligence, to get to know beneficial potency in each moment and not settle for anything else. Four mainstays completely there to just hold us empower us, stable platform from which to get to know this way of being human really um, the, inher the fundamental way and optimal way to be human but so new really, so radical at this point in our society to see that we can feel everything that we feel and really experience everything, all data streams and how important it is that we learn that we can do this it's so important to no longer be limited to needing positive data streams on that narrow search for positive data streams. The self-focus of like, I need to have everything in place and then I can be of benefit. In each short moment released into the benefit of all unavoidably. Our commitment to open intelligence and the Four Mainstays really just does empower ourselves and everyone. And, um, and seeing that 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 re the relating that we discover with ourselves we can offer to all and maybe as in life things change and, and um, the nature of relationship can change but just with that commitment on ourselves to know the benefit of open intelligence it does just spill out and affect all and we can just seem for myself like being able to remain open in situations when relationship does change and even like who knows what will happen but 
that's such a gift to be able to meet someone wherever they're at, no matter what. And in situations that before I'd met the Four Mainstays really meant a closing down and um, falling into blame and criticism in order to protect myself from data streams now just isn't the case. It's everything is just fueling is beneficial potency, is like the supercharge of beneficial potency. And in intimate relationships, we feel that so strongly, like the great love present in this, um, what we could call is like, a, you know, can be afflictive, it's so great, but we just remain completely open there, get clear on all of our data streams, what a gift to be able to see everything clearly, and then just be able to use it beneficially in that relationship and people are contributed to so greatly by that, by our decision, rather than just playing along with the, the, the limitations that we've experienced before. And um, so we just support everyone so much in this commitment to open intelligence, to knowing our true nature as benefit. And then we see it in others unavoidably. And, um, Yeah, the antidotes, I mean, they, it's really endless, like, where we can go with that. And, um, but just seeing everything, it's so clear when we are using something as an antidote in order to change our experience and, you know, skillfully avoid something in us. It just becomes clearer and clearer. And it's just like, there's nothing to contrive or force it's just totally natural just seeing what unfolds for us I just saw for myself there are certain things it was like I was trying to cultivate certain states certain experiences I wanted to avoid other experiences by using alcohol and drugs for example I mean coffee's a also another example of feeling low and then like really not wanting to feel low or, or tired so having a coffee I mean, every morning I wake up, I look like the data streams in my head, it's like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> like, that's what's running and like totally fatigued, you know, really tired in my bed. Like if I was to somehow sort of paint, be able to paint what was in my mind, it was like this like horrific scene. <laughs> like I'm about to enter into the worst day ever. And just seeing that right there, recognising open intelligence, inseparable from everything appearing, letting it be as it is, like just letting the grand display be as it is. Nothing to be done, everything self-resolving like a line drawn in space, the flight path of a bird in the sky, so just to relax. And, um, and in that scene, nothing needs to be gotten rid of, everything is always self-resolving. So then coming to the coffee bar, having a coffee, feeling the high of the coffee, that too, line drawn in water, everything resolving. Everything in this is great effortless flow, but it's powerful to see how we use antidotes too, just to empower ourselves, also to not have the coffee, what happens? Experience that display fully, let it be as it is. Everything enriching and informing us totally. So everything just becomes this grand discovery of empowerment and benefit. Everything unfolding into riches, ever greater riches. Seeing our own skillfulness, our own capacity to be of benefit in each situation. Nothing excluded. And uh, so what an incredible adventure. I just always wanted to have an adventurous life, spontaneous life. Do you know that contrived spontaneity? Be really spontaneous today. I'm going to be the most spontaneous person in this room. You know, and um, <laughs> and then just letting everything be as it is, and finding out that reality is the most like that's what's the most spontaneous adventure one could ever be on. Like just kicking back for the ride of total benefit, the benefit of all, like surprises every instant but fully grounded in open intelligence spontaneous with complete confidence in our beneficial potency that's the kind of adventure i love to be on <laughs>